If you have been shopping around Shopee and Lazada for a cheap 1,000 ringgit laptop, chances are you might end up with a lot of those Chinese branded laptops that comes with data specs even though they offer a good screen and design. And sometimes those laptops can't even do the basic stuff properly, let alone support Windows 11. But I have to admit that not every one of them is bad, such as this one. This is the Jumper EasyBook X3 Air, which I recently received for evaluation. It comes in this very nice mocha brown aluminum chassis that totally shames other mainstream entry-level laptops because it has such a good build quality that you would have expected this to be a much expensive laptop. So I've been using this for about a week already and here's what I have to say about it. By all means, the EasyBook X3 Air is not a powerful laptop. It is powered by an Intel Celeron M4100 quad-core processor with 8GB of LPDDR4 RAM and 128GB of onboard SSD storage. The SSD works fine. It works at SATA speeds with over about 500MB of read speeds and write speeds, which is kind of standard for SATA SSDs. And you can expand storage with this SSD slot at the bottom, which is really nice of them. So this is where you can insert an M.2 SSD if you want to expand storage of the Jumper EasyBook X3 Air. Now, this laptop, of course, like I mentioned earlier, the selling point is, of course, its build quality and this really beautiful display. Now, despite being a really beautiful display, it is a glossy surface so that you definitely get some reflections uh, when you're working outdoors. And I wouldn't recommend that if you want to do that because the brightness is also not the brightest as well, but for indoor usage, it's definitely okay. The laptop features a fanless design, so you will not hear any noise coming out of it even when the laptop is on full load. However, due to this design, the top left part of the laptop here feels warm and even the bottom part as well. So I would advise that you avoid using this laptop on your lap if you can. And the display has really, really solid hinges despite it being an entry-level laptop. Now, um, it can go all the way down to 90 degrees just like this which is in a flat uh, position, which is great for those who likes to uh, work while standing. And while you actually uh, tilt the lid just like this, it actually raises the keyboard height a little bit, though not a lot, but you actually uh, raise the keyboard height a bit and get a better typing position. Now, not many entry-level laptops offer a good keyboard. Now, this keyboard has really decent-sized keycaps with good key travel, but of course, that's not without complaints. First of all, it's not backlit, so you're going to have problems when working in a dark room because you don't get to see the keyboard clearly. And the second thing is the weird keyboard layout. As you can see right over here, the left shift button is really short and the right one is a longer one. So most of the time, I would be, I would be using the left shift button, which I think most of you will do so, but this is pretty short. And every time when I want to uh, press the enter key to go to the next paragraph, I will accidentally press on this double, uh, on this backslash button, which is weird because they kind of shrink the enter key so much that it's just weird because the enter key is a really common key that I think everyone will use, but they just simply shrink it, right? And also the delete key is not placed right on the top here, but this has been replaced by a power button, which I think is good that they move to the bottom right here over here so that you wouldn't accidentally press it instead of the power button but then it's just weird when you want to use the delete button you just got to move your hands down there to press the delete button and that's just something you got to get used to it now um the trackpad here um is pretty big i would have to say it's probably one of the best trackpads i've used on an entry-level laptop it tracks decent not the best of course but it is decent in terms of tracking performance and uh, it actually presses well, it has a really good button mechanism, doesn't feel mushy at all, feels nice to press. But of course, like most entry-level trackpads, don't expect this to do really good uh, multi-touch gestures and all this because it just isn't meant to do that. Now, in terms of ports, I'm actually very impressed on what Jumper has done right over here because look at this slim form. It's so slim that it's hardly sufficient for full-size ports, but they managed to include two full-size USB ports on this laptop on each side, right? So it does have this mechanical flap right over here, which you got to be careful in the long term because if you don't take care, it might actually break and you might be left with a really weird uh, USB port right over here, all right? So you even get a Type-C port right over here that supports USB 3.1 speeds and a mini HDMI port which is a weird decision. I would have hoped that they offer another USB-C port but then it's probably due to hardware limitations they offer a mini HDMI port on this uh, slick form but then you know it's better than not having any extra ports out there. The EasyBook X3 Air comes with a 720p HD webcam which is not the worst that I've seen 
it's definitely acceptable for casual video calls and I would recommend that you get a dedicated webcam if you want clear video quality. Now, of course, the webcam also doesn't come with a privacy shutter, which is expected of an entry-level laptop. Uh, so you got to use a sticker to just stick the webcam if you care about webcam privacy concerns. So I've been using the EasyBook X3R for casual office work and web browsing and I have to tell you that it works surprisingly well. I did not expect this kind of performance from an Intel Celeron processor even though the processor usage is always at 100% all the time. Browsing the web, scrolling web pages is surprisingly smooth. It's not the smoothest of course but then considering this is an entry-level laptop, I would have to forgive it. But then if you're intending to buy this for a kid, for classes, or just want to buy a lightweight laptop just for very simple work and web browsing, this will definitely cut it. Now, I have also been using this as a Netflix machine as well, because apart from this really beautiful screen, the speakers also sound really, really good. And it sounds way better than many other two, 3000 ringgit laptops. Jumper says that it is a DTS certified speaker, but uh, they didn't put any speaker right here to, to say that it's DTS certified, but I can tell you that it sounds really, really good. And here's how it sounds like. Now, the EasyBook X3 Air falls short when it comes to battery life, and that's something that you gotta expect out of this laptop because the processor is running at 100% all the time, even though the Intel Celeron processor is quite a low power processor, but if it is running at 100% all the time, you gotta expect some battery drain right over there. So in my usage, the laptop merely lasted about 3.5 hours, which is actually pretty bad for modern laptop standards. But then, um, considering that it is so affordable and it's so lightweight, this is a compromise that you gotta expect. And one thing that's a bummer though is that the USB-C port right over here doesn't support USB PD charging. So you can't just uh, go and buy a USB PD power bank and just charge up the laptop, but rather you might have to just go and get a, a AC power bank that supports the AC plug and charge the laptop if you happen to run out of battery halfway. So overall, the Jumper EasyBook X3 Air is a really decent budget laptop that looks good, works well, and has surprisingly decent entry-level performance that I would have never expected out of any other laptops of the same price range. It costs about 1,269 ringgit, which you can purchase in the link below if you're interested in getting one. I would highly recommend this laptop if you aren't someone that wants to buy an entry-level Chromebook and simply just want a simple laptop for casual work and school stuff. All right, so that's pretty much on my review of the Jumper EasyBook X3 Air. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos just like this and I'll see you guys in our next video.